This week I got a new pen. Yeah, I made a whole video about it. Of course it's not just any pen, it's a bare conductive pen. With this I can create circuits that I would normally need to use wires for because it holds a current, an electrical charge just like a normal circuit would do. And the exciting thing about that is I can draw my circuit so my circuit can look like anything. I can draw on anything. So I decided that I would have my circuit as writing on the front of my field notes book. And as you can see, it lights up. So this is a tutorial on how to make yourself a little book of ideas using bare conductive paint. You can find out more about bare conductive paint by visiting their website. They have lots of tutorials and ideas on things that you can make and create using their paint. Bare Conductive don't just sell their paint on their website, they also sell some really exciting and fun kits. One of my favourite is their card kit. Maybe you want to send a really cool geeky robot LED lighting up card to one of your friends for their birthday. Well Bare Conductive have got the card kit for you and they supply everything you need. So the card with the circuit diagram on the back, an LED, a coin cell battery and of course the bare conductive paint in a handy little pen so it's easy to apply. It's very gooey stuff, it is like paint so the first time you try and use it it does feel quite weird and you also need to leave it to dry because it gets everywhere. Good news is it's non-toxic so if you do get it on your skin it's very easy to wash off. Once the paint on the circuit is dry we can start adding the components like the battery and the LED. These must be the correct way round. Your positive should line up with your positive and your negative should line up with your negative. And how we can tell this on an LED is one leg is longer than the other one. The longer leg is the positive. What you can do is you can draw on the card and in pencil a little plus and minus to remind you. Finally, I'm gonna add a switch so that when it's pushed down onto the circuit, the LED will come on. Because what I don't want to do is send my card in the post and have the battery completely wear out and not work when my friend receives it. I can do this simply by blobbing some paint on some card, letting it to dry and then adding it. And as you can see, it works. Now you can see how it works. Let's get back to my tutorial, the little light bulb book of ideas using bare conductive paint. What you will need for this tutorial is a bare conductive paint pen, an LED, a three volt coin battery, a paper notebook, I'm using a field notes book, and your imagination. A pencil, some scissors, some sellotape, and probably a pin wouldn't go amiss either. To begin with, I want to draw my circuit and my design onto my field notes book using pencil. So very lightly, I'm going to draw my ideas in one stroke, because remember my circuit wants to be one continuous line. This actually took longer than I thought it was. It took me about three or four goes to get my design how I wanted it. It's a good idea to also colour in any of the parts of your design first. I also want my battery to be part of a switch again and I want it as like a little latch on the side so I decided to see what that would look like first before I start using my paint. Once you're happy with your design we can start painting the circuit. And remember I want a break in my line for my LED and I've got my break for where my battery will go. I must say it's very difficult to be neat with the paint because it's not like normal pen ink or paint, it's quite gloopy. So be really patient when you're going round and I found if I tried to draw a long line first I could go back and fill in any of the gaps. It's very important that it's fairly thick and that it, there are no breaks in it otherwise there would be a break in my circuit which would be no good. I recommend patience and a really handy fast forward to the end. Once you are happy that there are no breaks in your circuit I recommend you leave it to dry for quite a few hours, maybe leave it overnight. Whilst I was waiting for mine to dry, I took my piece of cardboard that I had created and I laid out my battery and noted in pencil which side was the positive and which side was the negative. Then I took a pin and I used the pin to make holes in my cardboard to push the legs of my 3 volt coin cell battery through. Make sure your battery is nice and snug and once you've pushed the legs through, you can bend them back into the card. Taking your paint paint over the legs making a nice thick blob with paint because later on we want to use this to make contact with our circuit board and turn on our light. Again you're going to need to leave this to dry for quite a while especially if the paint's really thick. Once you're happy that your circuit is dry and all your paint so far is dry 
You can check to make sure your contact points meet up with the circuit. And I'm noted down in pencil, again, where the positive was and where the negative was, ready to attach my LED. I've used some sellotape here to attach my switch to the back of my field notes book. I would recommend maybe using glue if you've got some to hand, but sellotape worked quite well. Finally, I want to attach my LED to my circuit. I've noted where the positive and negative is and I've laid my LED out accordingly. I'm now going to bend back the legs and I'm going to snip them to size using pliers or some pretty industrial strength scissors. Once you're happy with where you've laid your LED and the length of the legs, you can glue it into place using the paint. You will need to hold the LED upright for a little while just for the paint to dry enough to hold it in place. Once all the paint is dry, you can finally get to test it to check to make sure your circuit works. If it doesn't, the things you need to do is you need to check there are no breaks in your circuit and that your LED is the correct way round. Yay, success. Now I have somewhere to write down all my Geek Girl Diary tutorial ideas before I make my videos. And I can remind myself that I've got an idea by pressing my switch down that makes contact for my circuit. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. There are more on my channel. If there's something you would like me to do or you have an idea that's not fully developed and maybe you want to help me make a video out of it, then please get in touch. There are lots of ways you can get in touch. You can use Twitter, you can use Facebook, you can use the comments below this video. My name is Carrie-Anne. You've been watching the Geek Girl Diaries and remember, I'm just a mouse click away.